One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, those famous words from Dr. Seuss, as the nation is setting aside this day to focus on reading. The timing is critical as reading skills across the state have declined. Richard Bowling would be proud to see how Read Across America Is everybody ready to read? has evolved in Norfolk and at schools across the country. Our first selection for first graders showcases beauty and confidence. All princesses wear crowns, but underneath their crowns, not all princesses have the same hair. This shot in the arm comes at a critical time. The National Assessment of Educational Progress reports in 2019, the average fourth grade reading score in Virginia was 247. During the pandemic, it plummeted to 236. Principal Yukita Boone has homework for the parents. The best thing you can do is just read. They can read the cereal box, they can read the comic strip, so read, read, read. In our second book, students picked up a few Chinese words. Then I introduced them to a television word. Teleprompter. And did we mention confidence? Carson Jenkins knows how to work an audience. Why did not all the princes have a crown? Ooh, that's a good question. She's a natural. They met all of our expectations of being an, an audience. And when we think about that news reporter that kind of took over. Ten on your side, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she did a fantastic job. I would give them an A+. Plus. Okay, I think Carson needs an agent, okay? For more reading tips for parents, see this story later this evening on wavy.com.